Verizon is out with a new smartphone plan lineup called My Plan, and it's retired its previous lineup of the Get More, Do More, Play More, and Start plans. Now, these new My Plan options are a major departure from what Verizon has offered before. So let's find out if the changes are any good. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. Verizon is revamping its plan lineup. Uh, out the door are Get More, Do More, Play More, and Start, the uh, plans Verizon has had for a couple of years now. And they're being replaced by a new system called My Plan. Now, My Plan is a fundamental change from what Verizon has offered before. And indeed, it's very different from what the other carriers, AT&T and T-Mobile, offer. So, the uh, tiers in my plan, there's only two levels of uh, plan that come with my plan. There's the entry level, unlimited welcome, which shouldn't be confused with welcome unlimited, one of Verizon's other options. And there is also the premium tier of plan, which is unlimited plus. So what's different and unique about my plan is Verizon is offering all the perks that used to be bundled in with uh, cellular plans at different tiers uh, as a la carte perks that you can purchase individually. In essence, you can create your own plan, a, a customizable option that is based on the uh, base network access plan, either unlimited welcome or unlimited plus. So you can only get the features that you really want and pay for the features that you really want. Well, this sounds great in theory, um, it does have a few problems, namely that to get to the same perks as the plans that are now being retired, you're going to have to spend uh, more money to get those same perks. So the prices for the base plan have come down for unlimited welcome. It's $65 a month with auto pay. And for unlimited plus, it's $80 a month for auto pay with auto pay. And that is $10 cheaper than, for example, the Get More plan, which was $90 a month with auto pay. But for that $80, that's a $10 discount, but it doesn't include any of the perks that came with the Get More plan, such as the Disney bundle. Uh, instead of 50 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data, the Unlimited Plus plan only comes with 30 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. And uh, there are no other included perks, Apple. Uh, music, etc. So where this really becomes interesting is with the perks. Now, here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, we're always looking to uh, plans that serve the needs of RVers, boaters, cruisers, and nomads. And one thing we always look for is the amount of mobile hotspot data. In a first glance, this plan looks to be a significant downgrade, only $10 cheaper, uh, and you're losing 20 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. However, one of the perks that you can get for $10 a month is an additional 100 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data to add onto that plan. So that would give you a total of 130 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data on the Unlimited Plus plan with that perk for $90 a month for a single line. Now, there are a whole host of perks that you can get most of these are entertainment bundles or convenience features. Uh, the ones that we focus on are the uh, mobile hotspot option mainly. Um, we'll have a list up and also in our article, a list of all the available perks. Now, one of the nice thing about this uh, perk system is that you can turn on and off perks uh, as you want. So if you don't need the extra 100 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data a month, you can keep that turned off on your unlimited plus line, and then only turn that on on the months that you need it. That can be a very flexible option. And it's the same with all the perks. You can uh, take them on and off your lines on a monthly basis uh, as you need. And it's very easy to do. You can do it right from the My Verizon app. You don't need to uh, call customer support or deal with any uh, reps. So that's it for Verizon's My Plan for now. We haven't seen the official terms of service for these plans yet as we shoot this video. So some of the uh, information in here may change once the plans go live. 
And if that happens, we'll provide any updates in a pinned comment below. So we thank you for watching and we especially thank our premium members who fund this content, who allow us to make these uh, videos as well as all the detailed guides and analysis that we have on our website at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.